Hi, I'm Harvey Robertson and this is my OMG interview. I started my journey in 2012 as I enrolled in the University of Trinidad and Tobago, Caribbean Academy of Fashion Design. In 2016, I graduated Student of the Year. Uh, what a fulfilling journey it was. I, I never really wanted to do fashion. I always was involved in garment construction uh, since I was about 13 years old. And for me, fashion was about a particular sector of society that I didn't think I belong. I didn't even think I was that creative in terms of fashion. But enrolling in the university, I realized that it's all about what your story is. It's all about what you want to portray. It's all about what you want to say. And it's not necessarily about other people's conceptions, but it's about your ideas come into life in fashion. So in fashion, I tend to tell the stories of Caribbean culture, Caribbean influences, those aspects of our life, which cause us to be who we are. And recently my trend tends to revolve around Caribbean identity and more in the aspect of us being influenced by our history but also being influenced by things that are happening now. Also my fashion trend or my fashion aesthetic tends to deal with a lot of color patterns, fusion influences from one culture to the other. And then the aspects of now technology, now influences of social media and international influences that make us want to be a part of the world, but still want to have an authentic identity and um, making that statement to the world. The people I tend to target with my clothing are performance artists, um, young people, and even older. Well, some people who want to have a sense of boldness and pride and want to express themselves as People that are urban, but yes, people that are tropical. People that enjoy the nightlife, but still people who are adventurous. So my ideal client, I don't know if I'm sure about ideal clients. I tend to look for people that are, well, I don't look for people. I tend to create stuff for those who want to express themselves as unique individuals and still want to be a part of the modern urban trend and still want to have influences of ethnicity, um, culture, uh, those influences that may cause them to be very vivid with their colors or very vivid with their silhouettes and still be a part of that trendy international look. Yeah. So ideally my intention as I entered into fashion um, was to upgrade myself. I normally was doing um, tailored me, well, tailored to suit a particular client. But I was always influenced by um, entrepreneurs like those at Radical Designs and I would pass down Frederick Street and see clothing in the window and says, that looks so um, internationally, internationally acceptable and yet it's so Caribbean and so those kind of influences make me want to be at that same stage where I could have my clothing in the stores ready to wear um, and still have that unique sense of aesthetic that came from a cosmopolitan society as such as ours. Harvey is shy but in familiar environments Harvey is outgoing I'm in familiar environments Harvey is willing to share his views um, to those who would like to accept it or those who have an open mind or those who are willing to accept changes and differences and able to debate because Harvey loves to debate um, but debate tends to um, bring up new ideas, new mindsets, 
and tend to make people more um, tolerant. I am the seventh child of my mother and father and um, I have six, four brothers and one sister and uh, I grew up uh, at St. Mary's home in Tapirua and so um, my mother died while I was there. Um, I think I don't know all the circumstances that got us to there um, initially. But um, so there I grew up, and there's where I learned to be who I am or learned to, to live. And so I never really had a home like a mother or father. Um, and so while I was in the institution, that's where I actually learned to sew, where, where I began um, learning to sew in that institution. And so I grew up a lot amongst a lot of children. So there were hundreds, um, like a hundred and something children. And so um, in life I learned to, I learned that um, you are um what you perceive that you are or what do you think that you are or what you accept um because for many children um that that issue of identity or that issue of who i am where i come from um why do i behave this way whose traits do i have um I, some children will never have their mothers or their fathers to say you behave like this one or you behave like or you get that from this one or you get that from that one and so in a sense you always seek for an identity always seek for family always seek for relationship and in life I, I learned to understand who I am accept who I am and from there um, try to make steps that make you a better person yeah um, I guess it's uh, it it will take longer for a person who is so I, in a sense I'm still finding myself, but I I know who I am. Um, I don't know how to explain it when I figure out to speak me. I just. I'm trying to relate it to somebody else and I can't relate it to somebody else because I don't have that person else experiences as in somebody who will have a mother and father. But it's about accepting who you who you are, no matter what the circumstances is. Is a, a kind of strong independence you have to develop that you could I think that's the word. I think in a sense it's really um because in most cases you do have well, you have people there to guide you, um, but there's never that individual guidance. That one person that you can see. And you know, if you have, a, I'm thinking, if you have a mother and father, you have a sense, well, you have somebody who will, um, guide you along a particular path, or Maybe see, or see a particular, um, thing that you like, and, so if your parents know that or they see inclinations that you like um, fitness and health and uh, being that kind of motivational person, then they guide you along that particular path. When you have one person or two people or um, several people guiding like 50, 60, 80 children, they don't have that kind of individual um, sense of direction to, to part to depart onto one particular child. So for some people, they can find it in themselves. Um, for me, it took, took me a while to realize that my main motivation um, comes from people. Um, my main motivation is not necessarily um, individual. Or some people could 
individually be motivated all by themselves that's just how they're built and somebody like me um i tend to be stimulated or motivated by somebody else or by a role that's model cool. and that kind of stuff and so after a while i tend to have to find a direction to go and then go towards direction that direction i was studying human resource management at a point in time and I was going in that direction um, and then I realized um, I loved fashion well I was more passionate that's the way about fashion what about garments and how it look on the person's body and that kind of stuff and so I found that particular goal and I said I'm going to go towards this and all my motivation and although I would have obstacles and issues of finances and being independent and thing the motivation to do something and get something done um, is what um, kept me because I'm not I wasn't um, for me um, influence or what was it with mentorship um, for me for my personality is, is highly um, required but for, in my life um, there were people who come and people who go. That's generally how it is um, as a parentless child or somebody who is from a home or something. Um, your relationships, your mentorship relationships are not necessarily always stable. Um, they, so in life you tend to um, not hook on to one thing or not hook on to a particular dream or purpose. You always think that this is not going to last always. It's going to pass away someday. And so sometimes that tends to influence your dreams and your passions and your goals and your visions. And sometimes you say, well, it's best I just go into something else because this is not going to last. My OMG moment would be not just becoming student of the year for the Academy of Fashion, um, Caribbean Academy of Fashion and Design, but the moment itself more dealt with um, being accepted and um, being seen as somebody who is um, talented, gifted, somebody who is noteworthy, um, somebody who is recognizably um, a gift um, like a gift to society oh that was student of the year was mentioned um, at the final showcasing of the final year students so thesis surprised collection the, everybody didn't know or? yeah no 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 one knew um, but I kind of think I would have won it anyhow <laughs> Thanks for listening to my story, everyone. Thanks to, to OMG for this interview. Um, you can find me on social media, Facebook, Harvey Robertson, uh, Instagram, Harvey.Robertson. And you can get all your contact information. Send me a message on Facebook, Instagram. I'll reply. Check out my styles. And 